Manuel Ugate to Manchester United has seen a major boost as Benfica is advanced in their talks with Renato Sanchez to join them from uh, PSG as they do get to seal Joao Neves. Now, I know that might sound confusing to you, but don't you worry. I'm here to break it down for you and why you should be almost jubilating as a Man United supporter. Welcome to the United Health Sport. Like this video, share, and of course, subscribe as we do keep tracking the transfers. It is the transfer tracker. So don't get tired of it because every day we are committed to coming here and track everything as it happens concerning Manchester United. Now, we know now that the focus for Ineos is to bring in a number six, and Manuel Ugarte is top on the list. But someone might be wondering, why on earth is Webb coming here this morning and telling us about Renato Sanchez and his talks with Benfica? Is he confused? No, I'm not. You know why? Because Man United getting Ugarte is so dependent on Renato Sanchez going back to Benfica. This is how. Because the deal that PSG are trying to discuss and agree on with Benfica for them to get Joao Neves to join them, to join the French, uh, French side, involves cash plus Renato Sanchez going back to Benfica. Now, it is very possible that uh, he could refuse, he could turn down you know, the, the, the chance, if I would call it that, to go back to, ben, to Benfica. Now, if that happened, it would still drag PSG's uh, signing of Joao Neves and then inadvertently that will drag Man United's signing of Manuel Ugarte because there is no way PSG are going to release Manuel Ugarte before they have agreed with, uh, with Joao Neves and, PS and uh, Benfica over him coming uh, in their way. It's not going to happen. So whatever the, uh, the, that's going on between Renato Sanchez, PSG and Benfica, United supporters should be waiting and watching closely because it is all... It's a chain of events. One event is pulling the other. One is leading to the other. It is a very, very uh, important thing there uh, for, for Manchester United. So uh, that's why this news that has come out this morning today, saying that uh, Renato Sanchez and uh, Benfica are in advance talks and they're almost agreeing, is, is going to be a big, big boost for Manchester United if uh, indeed it all goes well. And like I've been telling you, my expectation is that you always, uh, Neves to Paris Saint-Germain will be done before the, uh, the end of this week. And I know today is a Friday, most probably before close of business tonight, we should be here seeing a big progress in the deal. Probably here we go, or, or maybe formalities, and then you know the next step of exchanging documents could be done either tomorrow or Monday. So latest early next week, it should be done, meaning the same period, the, term, the same time frame is what Man United might uh, make use of to sort uh, themselves with uh, PSG over uh, uh, Manuel Ugate. So that's uh, uh, what's happening. That's what's uh, currently happening uh, when it comes to the Manuel Ugate deal. Uh, it's the one that Ineos are focused on now, it, where we know that there is all this talk of uh, uh, of, of uh, uh, a right back, uh, the left back, another centre back, and stuff. But this is the main deal they are focused on now. Uh, 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 still, the other deal that could happen uh, just uh, again after Manuel Ugate, Joao Neves, and uh, Renato Sanchez have progressed. The other deal uh, that could happen is Jadon Sancho going to PSG. There is uh, an update uh, that I'm just uh, that has just dropped right now. That I'm uh, uh, you know just looking at about uh, Jadon Sancho that uh, uh, claims that Sancho has lifted uh, has fitted back in at uh, at Man United like he has never been away. Uh, sources describe a bubbly character with a good sense of humor who can be a positive influence on those around him. Everyone's want to keep it that way. This is according to Chris Wheeler uh, of, of, of uh, 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 the, the uh, uh, Daily Mail. This is, of course, right now, this is probably Sancho PR. They have started now to try and, you know, just make him look good so that the deal goes through. So it's about Sancho and Paris Saint-Germain. The talks, Sancho is excited by the idea of joining Paris Saint-Germain. But all that to happen, Paris Saint-Germain's biggest deal that they want to sort now is Joao Neves. When Joao Neves is done and assured he's going to join Paris Saint-Germain, all these other deals surrounding Man United and players going to PSG or uh, others leaving PSG and going to Man United are going to be easy for them to, to execute. So Sancho is one of those. He seems to be happy about the idea. He's open to the idea because he knows clearly that with Eric Ten Hag in place, with all the things you know uh, that uh, happened, it's difficult for him to be considered. In his heart of hearts, Eric Ten Hag and 
uh, will not really consider him. So he knows that to revamp his career, he has got to move away. And Paris Saint-Germain could be a proper, proper escape for him. So Sancho to PSG, the talks have been have been initiated between him and the and and and, and PSG to try and try and, and understand the personal terms. He will probably take a bit of a pay cut. PSG will not be willing to pay, to pay him three hundred thousand pounds per week. It's not happening, but he will be uh, okay to go there and try to revamp his career. Now there is another uh, update uh, concerning Harry Maguire that. Uh, I wanted to give you that has come in from Fabrizio Romano, uh, saying that Harry Maguire, uh, of course, was speaking on his future uh, and links with Man United. He says, to be honest, everything I've heard is that I'm part of, of of the future here at Man United. I'm ready to fight for the biggest trophies. This is according to Harry Maguire speaking to Sky Sports. That for him, from what he has heard, he's part of the future at Man United. Now, this is so important an update that. Uh, it, it sort of might have an impact on whether United, how many more center backs United brings in. We know that we are advanced when it comes to the elite. It's just a matter of agreeing in terms with uh, Bayern. But Jared Branthwaite is still a question mark uh, w when it comes to he, uh, him and whether United will go, will go and break the bank and pay crazy fees for him. And there's someone who asked me uh, a question somewhere asking me to compare for them Jared Branthwaite and, uh, and delete who is better. And without a shadow of a doubt, and I know that uh, Branthwaite is a little younger, he's, I mean, I think for me, Delete would be a better, more sensible signing for Man United than Branthwaite because Delete plays more positions. Delete has been more established and, uh, established and proven over the years, over time. Branthwaite is a young player who is promising, but he's, uh, he's only going to be second fiddle to Lisandro Martinez. Because you don't think Branthwaite in his in this day and life, in this lifetime, is going to start ahead of Lissandro Martinez. Remember, he's a left-footed center back. So he's only being brought in as a backup for Lissandro Martinez. Is a backup worth 70 million or 65 or whatever million pounds that Everton want? Certainly not. Certainly not. But Delete, who is a more established option, just two years older. Is, is, is way cheaper than that. So for me, in every way you look at it, but also the fact that the elite has worked with Eric Ten Hag before, that again, that again makes him a better fit for Eric Ten Hag than a Branthwaite with whom we don't know what to expect. He could come out and turn out to even be better than Lissandro Martinez, which is extremely difficult, but it can, it can be possible. Of course, because Martinez has suffered injuries and stuff, but Branthwaite is never going to be a, a, a priority ahead of Lissandro Martinez at Man United. Yet, Delit can be a backup for Lissandro Martinez, can be starting with Lissandro Martinez ahead of Lenny Oro, can be playing uh, at, in number six when uh, there is no number six to play, when Ugate is not there. He can play number eight if he's called upon. He has played attacking midfield before. He gives you more options. So, uh, my thinking is with this uh, is, uh, statement from Harry Maguire to Sky Sports saying that, for, at least for him, for what he knows is. He has been uh, assured that he's part of the future at Man United. My feeling is that uh, probably United might have dropped their interest in one of Branthwaite and Delete, most likely Branthwaite, and they will just uh, uh, settle, uh, settle with uh, Lenny Oro, keep Harry Maguire, have Lisandro Martinez, and Delete. So those four come in, Lindel of Leaves. So you see? So. And uh, so they buy one more year, one or two more years with Harry Maguire because also the leadership of Harry Maguire is a little important in whatever Ineos are trying to do. We know that we have a captain in Bruno Fernandes. Bruno's captaincy is more leading by example because he's by far the most uh, you know, committed player in terms of discipline, in terms of working hard. But in terms of character and leading young players, you know, it's different. He does as well because he speaks to them and what. But Maguire is more mature. He's, he's a leader. It's just that he had a bad spell and he had to be stripped of his, his captaincy. But the armband is what was taken away from him. But he still has that, lead, that personality of a leader. That is important around this club. And when, when Maguire speaks, all these players will listen. He has the character, the personality, and he commands the respect of a leader. So he's quite important to what Ineos are building now. And it's good that he won't have the pressure of being now the main centre-back with Lissandro Martinez. He might come in, 
in certain games but with Lenny Oro and Delete there he will be he will be okay being a backup and leading from the bench so my feeling is that perhaps Ineos uh, might have made up their minds about grant weight and trust me that uh, 50 million quid they have still left uh, put on table for uh, for brand weight might be called back and they leave them with their player my name is web this is the united of sport like share subscribe and i'll catch you later fam